okay, I'm a fix-it guy. I can't just leave this laying here. It's too heavy. So let me give you a couple of things to think about. Okay. Number one, the intent of the student law, student loan law that put in this this ridiculous process by which people can get hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt for education. The intent, and it's a noble intent, but it had an unintended consequence because, as always with government programs, you get idiots involved. And so the intent was to create a well-educated, productive, creative society. That's what we want people to be educated. We don't want a bunch of ignoramuses running around. We want, you know, and that that's a good thing. Education is a good thing. Here's the oxym here's the paradox of it though. If you're stupid in the way you go about being educated <laughs> Did you hear that? If you're stupid in the way you go about being educated or the way you provide education to the society, you don't create a well educated, productive citizenry. You create overwhelmed, hopeless people living in their parents' basements who cannot see making $800 a month, $1,300 a month, how they can pay $2,000 a month for student loans that they can't get out of by bankruptcy. Congress saw fit to loan them the money but will not let them out due to bankruptcy. I'm not suggesting they should be let out, but the, the paradox is we tried to create this utopia by loaning people that shouldn't be loaned money money. An 18-year-old without a job who's never had a job and has no collateral should not be loaned money, particularly to get an education and they have no idea what they're going to do with their life. It's ridiculous. And you thought this was going to turn out well. It didn't create well-educated, productive people. It created overwhelmed, hopeless people living in their parents' basements. One out of five males between 25 and 32 in America live in their mom's basement. One-fifth of them. 20% of the males. I'm not, I didn't say men. I said males. And this, this is part of the problem right here. I can't get a job in my degree. Well, that's part two to this. Part, part one is go smack your congressman silly until they get rid of this stupid program. Just keep smacking him or her repeatedly until their ears are ringing. Because this is ridiculous. You're destroying our economy. You're destroying our young people with this. It's out of control and it's wrong. That's part one. Part two is bother to tell people, your children especially, that success is not a correlated to education. <gasps> he said that out loud. You can be a success and not go to college. What? You just said children are listening, Dave. Children are listening. Children are listening. Don't say that, Dave. You blaspheme on the radio. Yes, I do. Success is not related to education. How many people do you know that got $150,000 in student loan debt and can't get through a job interview because their relational skills are so pitiful that they're not marketable? They got six master's degrees and they can't look you in the eye and shake your hand. They can't walk in the building and smile and act like they want to be there other than to be a parasite on the butt of the company. Nobody hires people like this. I don't give a rip what your degree is in. You have to have the ability to move in the marketplace and have relationships and bring value to the people that are trying to hire you. Otherwise, you're not going to get a freaking job. I don't care if you got 73 degrees. You're still a moron. And you're not marketable. Teach your kids that success is not tied to education. Get an education, because being dumb is not a good idea. But no matter how many degrees you have, nobody promised you a rose garden, darling. You got to go into the garden, clip the buds, you know, do the stuff you do, whatever the crap you do to grow roses. You got to do that stuff. Lost the metaphor completely. <laughs> you got. This is ridiculous. See, if I had a better education, I could have done that. But I don't have a degree in horticulture, so shut up. Uh, I don't have a degree in chocolates and pastries either, so shut up. Although if you could get one by eating them, now that would be the way to get that degree. So seriously, teach people to study something that actually is marketable in the marketplace and that their personal skills, their relational skills are more of an indicator, their ability to persevere, their ability to tell the truth, wear a belt on a job interview, comb your freaking hair and take a bath. Seriously, you would not believe what people come in looking like in a job interview. Did you just climb off a stripper pole, sister? Seriously, this is a job interview. What is wrong with you people? 
And you think your degrees are going to offset that? Honestly, teach your children this stuff. And you parents, you go sign them up for $100,000 and send them off to some school deeply in debt, thinking education is going to solve everything for them. You're as dumb as they are. Parent. And one guy called me up. My 17-year-old told me he's going to this expensive private school. I don't know what I'm going to do. I said, well, there's your problem, Bubba. My 17-year-old doesn't tell me anything. You got confused. The inmates are running the asylum. I tell them stuff. Like, no, stupid little fool, you're not going to that school. You can't afford it, and I'm freaking not paying for it. You're going to this school. You're a control freak. Yeah, I'm that way with my money and my kids because I want what's best for them. Hey, parents, grow a backbone. Stand up into this stuff. Help your children choose a field of study that makes sense. Somebody stand in the middle of the street and say, stop it. Going $140,000 in student loan debt, you might want to be a mom someday. You might want to do something different someday, and you won't have choices because slaves don't have choices. A trillion dollars worth of slaves, and 50% of them are in default. I think we can safely call the student loan program a failed program, people. Look at what you're doing. Think. This is the Dave Ramsey Show.